I just had no confidence, no mm. self-confidence. In high school, I guess I was that loud, I wouldn't use the word popular, but I was mm. well known, but it was projecting, mm. you know, somebody that I actually wasn't. Yeah. But I had no confidence, like, and I just had to act more than I was to try and convince myself. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, since going to the gym, and I say from like that 10, we'll get into a bit later, that's mm. when dad died, mm. to 18, because then I feel like that's when I found myself with social media, and I wasn't really driven by insecurities. I was like, okay, this is me, found purpose, and it was just all I in. think it's massive now, because like even... Yeah, you know, for a lot of people that listen to this, obviously we've got people that are in their 20s, we've got people in their 30s and even 40s and 50s yeah, yeah. that are kind of the stage of life where I am at as a dad and have got like teenage kids and not understanding that whole confidence thing. Yeah. I think in, in today's massive. generation, it's a, it's a massive thing that, you know, people that might have come from the 80s and 90s just aren't getting. What do you think is kind of leading to this? Is it kind of absentee parents? Like what? Yeah, of course. Well, everyone's situation is different. For myself, yeah. exactly that. Like mm. when I was 10, uh, my dad died. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being, being a... I'm not saying it's easier if you were a daughter, but being mm. a dude, mm. he's meant to teach you how to shave, how to, yep. you know, talk to chicks, all these type of things. And I was like, well, he's not here. Like, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. 